welcome back. It is Friday. And guess what that means? Something brand new and unusual. We're actually going to do a fave spot fails and finds today. It's been so long I can't even say it anymore. I haven't done any faves, fails, and finds in a long time because, well, first of all, November was gratitude month, and so we weren't trying anything. Well, we were trying plenty of new things, but we weren't buying anything new. So today I have a few kind of new things to haul, some things to talk about, some old favorites, some things that I'm not really sure about, kind of on the fence about. And you guys, today we are going to be opening up all of my subscription boxes, so stay tuned until after kind of the reviews and the faves and the fails and everything, and we are going to get down to business on all of my subscription boxes. So the first thing that I want to talk about today is the Herbivore Blue Tansy Resurfacing Clarity Mask. I don't really know what compelled me to buy this on top of like anything else that was in the Sephora, like clean at Sephora skincare section. I have no idea why I chose this one. It sounds weird, but like, I was like, I want to try a mask. I want to try something from Herbivore. And I just kind of saw this and I was like, yeah, resurfacing sounds good to me. Turns out like all of you guys had the same idea. <laughs> I put it up on my Instagram stories and if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, it's hey khaki, it's not khaki reviews beauty. But I put this up on my stories and you guys were like, yeah, dude, this is the bomb. I love it, I've been using it like every night, blah, blah. And I was like, where have I been? Like, what? Apparently it turns kind of mossy green over time, but it does not alter the efficacy, efficacy of, uh, of the product. It smells unbelievable. Uh, I don't know what a tansy is. <laughs> but this smells kind of just like a blueberry drink, but you know, in like a really natural organic way. You put it on your face and it tightens up. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the, oh my God, I'm not gonna remember the name of it. The Hanacure mask, Kathy, it's the Hanacure mask. But I reviewed it a really long time ago and I thought it was awesome but it tightens up on your face, makes you look like a crazy person. And then uh, when you wash it off, all your pores are smaller and your face looks better. So this doesn't like, you know, shrink wrap your face in that same way, but it does have that really like tightening feeling. And then after you rinse it off, because I only wear it for like 10 or 15 minutes, after you rinse it, actually you just wipe it off. You can rinse it off, but I just, you know, wipe it off with like a warm towel. My skin just glows. And I have found that granted, I have been multi-masking like crazy. So it's hard to really pinpoint exactly what's responsible for it. But I definitely have noticed that my melasma is lightening. And so I look in the mirror in the morning or after I wash my face or whatever, and I'm just like, oh, my melasma mustache has gone down. Like I just feel generally brighter. So I'm really enjoying this. I, again, got it at Sephora, but you can get it all over the place. I wanna try more herbivore products because this is just, it's really knocking my socks off. And you know, I think this is $48 and it is so stinking much product. You use so little every time and you can use it like every single night. As long as your skin's not like super, super sensitive. They do say that it's supposed to like tingle, you know, a gentle tingling sensation is normal, I think is what they say. I haven't noticed anything like that, but maybe I'm just a hardened broad at this point when it comes to facials so uh, or face masks. Let's stick with the mask theme here because this is actually an oldie but a goodie. I shared this with you guys last week speaking about healing my skin and not picking. I forgot how exceptional this mask is. This is the Bosha Charcoal Pore Pudding Intensive Wash Off Treatment. Some of Bosha's charcoal masks are peel off uh, don't get it twisted. This one is just a wash off. It is so much more creamy and so much more nourishing than other charcoal masks that I've tried. It doesn't dry down to that like stiff finish on your face. It stays really nice and flexible. It's white charcoal and black charcoal. It says um, two part pore pudding powered by black and white charcoal. The powerful pair, this is a lot of uh, alliteration, work together to minimize the appearance of pores while balancing skin for ideal results. So what I find, if you did not watch my video on, uh, on picking, what I find is that it can be super, super helpful to kind of like snap yourself out of the days of picking when you put something that is like a, an opaque kind of shellacking of something on your face and just like give yourself the time, like you can't see your skin through it basically. And it helps you kind of talk yourself off the ledge. And I found that this has been a super effective for that, but also it just does a great job clearing my skin. It's pretty inexpensive. I think this is $38 and you get like tons of it. I started with a deluxe sample from Sephora and it lasted me ages. And also it's just kind of fun. <laughs> I think it's kind of fun painting, you know, gray stuff all over your face, feeling like, you know, some kind of cave woman or something. I don't know. Finally, oldie but a goodie, is the Thrive Cosmetics Overnight Sensation. Um, I am not kidding when I say that I am stuffing everyone's stockings with this. Sorry, spoiler alert to my family. You're all getting this for Christmas. This is the most home run 
beauty product that I have found this year. Like, we're already talking superlatives. It is, it's the end of the year, I can say that. This is the Overnight Sensation Brightening Sleep Mask. This is $62. You get a 3.4 fluid ounces, crap ton of product. This is such a freaking incredible mask. A, super brightening. B, like healing. It just heals your skin. Like if you have scabs, if you have things you've picked out, if you have things that are just, ugh, like you feel like chaos is ensuing and you know, things are kind of like, you know, bubbling up underneath the skin. This is so calming, it's so anti-inflammatory. It is just absolutely chock full of amazing skin loving like miracle ingredients and I cannot say enough about it. Um, there is 10% uh, off at Thrive for orders $50 plus down below so this does qualify but I freaking so highly recommend this and a little life hack you guys, a little life hack. This gets a little sticky, okay? So it, it can be a little bit annoying if you put too much on. My recommendation, if you're you know, gonna sleep in it because it is an overnight mask, is uh, use some of your, uh, your Thrive powder or any powder that is like skincare-y and, and you know, like you feel comfortable keeping it on your skin because you know that it's helping instead of like, you know, you don't want to go to like get like cover girl or something. What I do is, you know, I let this dry down a little bit, but it never dries down completely, completely. It always stays just a little bit kind of dewy tacky. Hit it with some powder. Just get a really clean brush and hit it with some like very skincare based uh, translucent powder and it will set your mask and then you can sleep in it and it will not stick to your pillow or get everywhere, which is I don't know why I never thought of it before, but uh, I was watching Ingrid a while ago and she did a whole thing with Bare Minerals and Bare Minerals actually has a sleeping powder. So that exists too. So yeah, those are kind of my three current multi-mask uh, routine items lately that I'm just really, really, really pleased with that have been just like saving my skin. That and the light stem, which I don't have up here with me, but the light stem for acne, I have been just smoking this stuff on my chin recently and it just, I wake up and it's healed. It's just so, oh, that thing's amazing. Um, I'm gonna talk about a sample and this actually, I didn't ask for it. It came in uh, my Sephora box when I got the the blue tansy and the Bosha. They sent me this, I guess they're, you know, taking data on, you know, what I'm ordering. They're like, oh, she ordered from Clean at Sephora so she gets a clean gift. So this is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm with Echinacea Green Envy. And one of you guys actually said, because I use the Tatcha One Step Pure Camellia Oil Makeup Cleanser. I think that that's the full name of it. It's a lot. But uh, one of you guys was like, no, try the pharmacy one next. And so it's kind of cool that they sent it to me. So this is one of those like balm cleansers that, you know, it comes solid, uh, very, you know, similar to like the Beauty Counter one or the Clinique one. And you just kind of emulsify it on your face. It smells incredible. It smells like lime and uh, maybe some other kind of cool stuff, but, but mostly lime. And I just find that to be really refreshing. I'm not sure about the efficacy of this versus the Tatcha. I still think I like the Tatcha better just because it breaks my makeup down more quickly. This almost has like a matte thing to it. And so like you really have to use a lot of it, I feel like, to really start breaking down your makeup and working it into kind of an oilier texture might just be my personal preference. I, the jury's still out on this guy. I'm really not sure if I would like buy the full size just because I know that these are not inexpensive products and I, I know that, you know, Tatcha is just as like responsible. Let me know if you guys have tried this, if I'm doing it wrong for some reason, but I do feel like I have to use a lot of it. All right, guys, uh, you probably watched my video on Wednesday and if you did not, or even if you did, um, it is really no secret that I am really, really into this brand. This is Kiarwise. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I know it's kind of expensive. I, I, I'm gonna be honest, you guys. Um, you know, you get to a point in your life where you just kind of go, I'm worth it. And I'm worth it. I'm worth this stuff. I'm worth the $68. The refillable pan is $40. So it's not like, I mean, it's, it's still crazy, but it's not super crazy. And I just really, really enjoy the way that this wears. I've been wearing it a lot lately. And uh, the translucent powder, I you know, kind of take it or leave it. I'm not really sure. Uh, like I know that the ingredients are, are good, but um, I'm just not, you know, totally sure. It's like knocking my socks off in comparison to some of the other powders that I own, but they do work really, really nicely together. This is a really beautiful product, not just for the full coverage kind of look that I have on my face right now, because I am wearing it right now, but you can just use this as like a spot concealer if you want to wear very little makeup one day and it blends in and you don't necessarily have to powder it. So this packaging is just dynamite too. It's just, it's awesome. It's just fun to play with. 
Okay, um, a couple of things here, much to many of you guys' uh, happiness probably, will be that I have here the Well People Narcissist Foundation Cream, as well as the Well People BioCorrect Multi Action Concealer. I just got these in the mail. We will be reviewing these soon, doing a full wear test, but I have not tried them yet. So they are brand new to me. Really, really excited. Natural finish, balances skin tone, diminishes imperfections, made with pure natural and organic ingredients. Free from parabens, coal tar, phenos, petrolatum, nanoparticles, synthetic fragrance, propylene glycol, phthalates, dimethicone, formaldehyde, lead compounds. I'm in, in bad mojo. The last one is bad mojo. That's really funny. Look forward to that. That will be coming up soon. I also picked up a couple of items from Clove and Hallow. I have the Clove and Hallow uh, concealer. I don't really know if it's got like a name. Conceal and Correct. Really um, interesting shade. It's a little rosier than I thought it was going to be, but it does a really good job of color cancellation because of kind of the rosy undertone. It so far reminds me a little bit of Juice Beauty, but in a good way, which <laughs> follow me on this. It has like a watercolor feel to it. It goes on creamy and then it dries. <laughs> which means that you can kind of wear it on its own and it blends into your natural skin instead of staying really dewy on top of the skin. Also decided to try their, what is it called? A uh, lip glaze. I have never really loved this kind of applicator, this weird brush because it leaves so much icky product just like sitting out like that. But this is a really pretty color that is not something that I would necessarily wear alone. Uh, but with the right like blush and eye look and stuff, it looks really pretty. It doesn't look like that great. It's not sheer enough to kind of wear on a bare face. It doesn't quite look right. But I think that, you know, if I matched it up with a really nice kind of like tan bronzed look and then um, a really nice pretty like, I don't know, dewy looking cheek, I could really make that work. So I don't know, is a lip gloss and a concealer enough to do a like full video on Clove and Hallow? Because they don't really offer like a ton of stuff. They have like a powder foundation and I already know I'm not gonna love a powder foundation and so I didn't buy that. Let me know because we can, you know, we can combine it with whatever. Just, you know, now let me know. Okay, questionable. <laughs> Questionable. Um, I ordered some stuff from Fall Lane. Uh, I think that I got the Well People stuff from Fall Lane. And so I decided to try something else while I was at it. I don't know, let's try something. I would like to try stuff. So I got a sample, a dull sample a while ago, the Osmia Nectar Rose Oil Serum, and I loved it. And so I decided to try their spot treatment. Not really maybe doing the right amount of research that I should have done because you guys, this is just a blend of essential oils. That's all that it is. It just smells like tea tree oil and I'm kind of annoyed. It wasn't super expensive or anything, but I am just kind of annoyed because like, you know, I have zits. If like, if I wanted to put essential oils on them, I would just put essential oils on them. Like I have essential oils, I don't know. It's my fault for like not looking into this enough. I just remembered loving the, like the rose, serum so much that I was just like, maybe this is miraculous too. And it says apply it three to five times a day. Are you freaking kidding me? Like how effective could it be if I'm putting it on three, well, three to four times a day? Like, okay, so those are all the products that I've like hauled lately and things that I want to like try and review on my channel. Now we are going to move into opening all of my subscription boxes. Actually, there are only three. I have Rocks Box, I have Julie Box, and I have Petivore. Let's go ahead and start with Petivore just so we kind of like ease the transition from beauty products into the boxes of it all. So Petivore is a subscription box that is always the creme de la cruelty free and they are local to Austin, which is really cool. And so I decided to re-up my subscription to them because there are just so many cool kind of up and coming indie brands that I just am not going to know about. <laughs> and I do have uh, an affiliate link down below with them, but right now they're running like 50% off your first box if you buy three months at a time or something like that. They are a new company. These products are not cheap. So I don't think that I, you know, I'm gonna have like a discount code with them or anything like that because they are just like very, you know, tight margins. But I just wanna let you guys know, we'll start from small to big here. This is a perfume sample, which I, you know, was not expecting to get a perfume sample. I think it's kind of a little bonus item in here, but this is the brand My Daughter Fragrances in the uh, fragrance Joyful You. Guys, this smells so good. I already looked up the uh, the full size. I hate sample bottles. Oh my God, how annoying are you? God dang it. Okay. 
So the notes are uh, jasmine, orange blossom, and grapefruit, bergamot, and spearmint. I mean, that's me in a nutshell. I love citrusy fragrances. And this does have a little tiny finish of like mintiness. There's something really familiar about it. Like it has some kind of like really homey, reminds me of my like childhood kind of smell to it. I think I need to own this. Like I really do. And fragrance is a really hard thing. You, I would say 99.9% of fragrances that I smell, I freaking hate. <laughs> fragrance is so personal. I'm sure everybody feels that way, but about different fragrances, you know, they would probably smell some of the stuff that I wear and they're just like, uh, no. This is unreal. I just like, ugh. It's not candy sweet. It's like, citrus sweet with like a little bit of the jasmine. I'm a huge jasmine fan. Like jasmine, honeysuckle, that whole family. Like that is just one of my favorite smells in the whole world. And it doesn't smell like there's any attempt at like a muskiness or like an artificial depth. Sometimes these perfumes add this like kind of like base note to them. It'll be like a pink pepper or like uh, a, like a sandalwood or something. And I'm just so put off by that. It just gives me a headache. Yeah, I, I need to own that. It's it's just absolutely gorgeous. Urgh, I hate sample containers. Okay, so next, kind of small to dig here, is a product by a brand called Denore. This is uh, by The Organic Face. This is a really great size sample of a lip and cheek balm, but y'all, I don't know why. First of all, I thought it was frozen. Like when I got it in my mailbox, I was like, oh, it's just cold, I need to let it warm up. No, it's it's really, really, really stiff, which is great for a lip balm, and I will use it as a lip balm, but it doesn't have any, once you get it on the skin, any color impact. Like, I have no idea why you would wear that on your cheek, because it doesn't, it has no color to it. Like, what is, what? it doesn't smell bad or anything, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> Very basic expectations. Hope it doesn't smell bad. So yeah, it's really pretty. It's a great lip balm, but like I don't understand. I don't understand how this would be a cheek product. Next we have the Ultimate Styling Lotion from Evolve Hair Care, uh, Luxury Natural Hair Care. This is definitely an area that I have not branched out into enough yet. I do love my Aquas, which is a, you know, clean at Sephora, like hair brand. And I have noticed that like my hair feels stronger and it feels like it's growing better. And you guys have been giving me compliments on like the very few times that I actually bother to wear it down because it's literally the most awkward phase of all time right now. It just goes on my shoulders. But uh, in the Thrive video where you guys were like, khaki, your hair looks incredible. I was using a little bit, a little bit of this. I appreciate a styling lotion that isn't super heavy. I do notice this when I put it in my hair. It's not one of those just like feel good products where you put it in and you're just like, I think it helped. I don't know, it was natural. It has a little bit of like tooth to it, which is really great. So as I was like blow drying my hair, I felt like the volume really stuck around. I use, um, like a pea sized amount in my hair and then I water it down a little bit because otherwise you can't really disperse that little amount of product on all of your hair. And I use it everywhere. I put it kind of like around my roots since I don't rub it directly on my scalp or anything. But um, I wanted to get like volume in my roots and stuff like that. And this is lightweight enough that you don't have to worry about it, like weighing your roots down or something. And so it says, uh, directions apply to wet or dry hair. For volume, apply lotion to damp hair at roots. Blow dry away from scalp using your favorite technique. For curl styling, apply to damp hair. Work products from the roots to the ends to create desired curl or wave pattern. Yeah, you can kind of use this for everything. It just basically gives hair that needs a little bit of help, a little boost in terms of like styleability and staying power. And it's a huge sample. We got, you know, two fluid ounces of this, which is great. I'm actually going to use this, which is uncommon that I would use a, a product that I didn't know that I needed in my routine. I've never used uh, a styling lotion for any long period of time, typically because they are chock, it's usually like a mousse that's like chock full of alcohol or it's a like styling uh, spray or something that's very like oily, greasy, heavy on my scalp. And so uh, I really, I like this and I think, yeah, it doesn't really have a fragrance to it. You know, it just smells like the ingredients. So it's it's gonna be really nice for, especially for me. <laughs> I have psoriasis. I don't like putting a bunch of crazy stuff on my scalp if I can help it. And then finally, I kind of saved the best for last in the box. So this is from a brand called Mate Skincare, comforting hand balm with calendula and lavender. I really like calendula, you guys. It is one of the most like beautiful, nourishing, breaks down a body temperature kind of uh, emollients that's out there. I love it so much. This smells really nice, really natural, and it is like a hand 
and cuticle and like dry spot balm and it does a really great job of just kind of disappearing into the skin in this really really beautiful nourishing way but y'all I have like the world's driest skin on my legs like it's gross <laughs> I kind of low-key hate my legs in a lot of ways just because the skin on them stays so dry and no matter what like really heavy moisturizer I use I feel like my skin just drinks it up and is like now what? <laughs> like, what now? I grabbed some of this, it's really highly concentrated, very highly concentrated, and I put it on my legs, and it was awesome. I wish that they made it in like, you know, industrial size containers, because um, I, I can't, I couldn't believe like how nice it felt on my legs, and it's thin enough, it wasn't like beeswax, you know? <laughs> like, it's concentrated enough, but it spreads really easily. It's tight. I really, really like this, and I love the size of this sample. Like, this makes me really happy. This is like a full tub. A lot of the samples that I have gotten from Petivore are like close to full size like this. They're not just like these dumb little like paper samples or something like this. This is a glass jar, which I just, I really appreciate that. All right, next, let's move on to Roxbox. I haven't done a very good job sharing my Roxbox with you guys lately. I like these Kendra Scott earrings. Actually, those are really pretty. They would go really nicely with what I'm wearing. I think what I did was I opened this. I was in a hurry. I set it aside and I kind of forgot about it. Actually, those are gorgeous. I really like those. Let's put those on. This sweater always brings out kind of the cool tones in my skin. And so let's just, yeah, let's keep those on. And then there's also uh, this, this necklace here. Oh, cute. Okay, this is actually a choker. I didn't realize that. <gasps> so cute. Oh man, see, this is what I get. I like, I just, you know, dismiss things sometimes. Like you can see that's gonna be really pretty when I'm not, you know, wearing a sweater. I dismiss things sometimes and then I forget about them and I'm, I'm the worst. And then there was a, oh, there's a set of rings. Hmm. I don't know where they are. Uh, I will, I will hunt them down and I will put a picture of them on the screen because I forgot to go grab them. So, uh, news on Julie Box. So Julie Box has moved back from being a quarterly subscription box and now it is again a monthly subscription bag. So A, I super appreciate that because Rocks Box, you send the box back. Julie Box, they were priding themselves on giving you this really beautiful giftable box, but if you were getting four of them a year, you got all these boxes piling up and it's just not very efficient it's uh, anyway i'm really glad that they moved away from that into a fabric bag you now some of the issues that were being complained about there were people that were kind of on a crusade <laughs> against julie box for a minute and they were coming to like all of the influencers who were talking about julie box's wall and yes full disclosure they send me this for free so i you know super appreciate that from julie box all the other stuff i pay for but some of the people were complaining that like influencers were getting different things than they were getting. And so it was making the box look better than it was. I talked to my contact over there and she was like, you know what, we have just solved it. Everybody's getting the same thing. Like per your preferences, if you kind of align on a certain set of preferences, those people with those preferences all get the same thing. They're making sure that, you know, there is none of that kind of controversy anymore. It was never intended to be that way, but they want to make sure that they remove all doubt. This is the first thing. This is this really pretty um, bracelet with kind of like knots on the end of it. I am a gold toned kind of girl. I love this, I think it's really pretty. It wears really nicely, but I also like to kind of, um, <laughs> this is funny. I like to kind of hook the knots on each other if I can. There we go, I like to hook the knots on each other. I think it's pretty, I don't know. And I have such teeny tiny wrists that everything kind of falls off of me. And then I really like these. So we have our necklace that came with this. I like this because it's on a shorter chain. It's not just like, you know, falling into my shirt and bopping me in, the, in like the chest. It just sits kind of like, meow. And it is like a faux arrowhead in this really pretty kind of like lab grown uh, druzy uh, amethyst. And so, you know, it's not a genuine authentic amethyst, which is totally fine. It is like, you know, kind of gold around the edges and stuff like that. This is like, a, I think a $20 box. So, you know, you get to keep everything in it. And I think that it's an amazing value. So I think that this is really beautiful. I'm a big fan of amethyst to begin with. And so I just really like the, you know, the overall kind of tone of this. This is really good for layering. I like kind of having a bunch of necklaces that are around the same length, but not exactly the same length for layering. Kind of more in the, you know, spring summer vibe when you're wearing like tank tops and stuff but can you imagine those two together those would be really cute and then um she did kind of apologize to me about this because she's like you know we are 
uh, making sure that everybody gets sent the same things. These are, she knows that I can't wear these necessarily. I do have, I don't know where they went. I've misplaced them, but I have plugs that have earring holes in them. And so I can wear these. I just don't know where those plugs ran off to. I did a lot of cleaning and who knows, who knows, who knows? You think cleaning is gonna help you find things. Sometimes it just helps you lose things. These are some really pretty like, black druzy uh earrings and they're kind of they're kind of big so i mean they would cover my entire plug which is cool and so you could get just the same effect as wearing an earring um if i you know actually put them into the right plugs which i cannot find so those are the three items that were in my jewelry box again thank you to jewelry box for sending me these things and hopefully they dispelled all of the rumors and whatnot of like you know people getting different experiences for it like that's always been kind of a speculation from a lot of things they're like oh companies send out like better versions of their makeup products to influencers or companies send out better versions of their products in uh sample containers and then when you buy the full size it's like less high quality or something like that I have never bought into that. I think that that's kind of like bordering on conspiracy theory. Like the, the whole idea that like a small company is trying to like scam you out of the gate is always like, I think just an unfair assumption. Most of them, if not all of them, are just trying to do the best that they can. Starting a business is really hard. It's a lot of stress. If there's anybody that you should be wary of, and no one in particular, I'm not like pointing fingers at anybody, but you know, look at companies that are already established with multi-million dollar, you know, empires. Those are the kinds of companies that are trying to skimp here and there. It's the small companies that are trying to give you the most bang for your buck because they're trying to make their impact in a space that's competitive. So it's just my personal take. Um, all right, and the last two things here. One TV show, uh, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel is back for season two, and it is awesome. Uh, the first couple of episodes dragged a little bit because I feel like they were kind of recapping what happened last season, and it felt very tedious. There's like this scene where um, someone is actually having to actively translate her stand-up act into French, and it's tedious, but push past it because it gets really, really cute. And is it just me, but I'm like rooting for her and Joel? That's terrible. That like makes me a bad feminist. I don't know, but that shows manipulating my brain. I'm being manipulated. Also watched Homecoming recently, which I highly recommend. So I didn't plan on talking about that, but Julia Roberts is pretty incredible. And um, I just, I think it's a really well done show. It's kind of got this like cool old like Twilight Zone vibe to it. I don't know. I'm a big Twilight Zone fan. So uh, yeah, if you're into that kind of thing, kind of like, you know, mystery, thriller, sci-fi, weird stuff, like, but not super sci-fi. I don't know. It's, it's really, really good. Very well acted. And then finally, some of you guys have been asking me, uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me, a lot of my mental health videos got like demonetized over the last few years, which kind of drove me crazy because like the YouTube Rewind came out and they were just like, Wow, we should really throw props to all the channels that have made mental health front and center this year. And I was just like, no, we shouldn't because like I literally got written up in The Guardian, like quoted in The Guardian because I was getting demonetized on every single video that had that was mental health oriented. Every single one. It didn't matter like what I mentioned, what was in the title and, and nothing. I mean, I was just, they were just shutting every single one down. YouTube, I, I hope that they turned over a new leaf on that, but uh, I do, I'm ready to, you know, kind of like reintegrate that a little bit more. I have been talking to you guys a lot privately about it, but um, one of the main things that I want to kind of put together next is a beginner's guide to like meditation and talking about kind of my mental health journey and how I have managed to not uh, take antidepressants and anti-anxiety medication anymore. It's been definitely a journey worth sharing because I know what it's like to white knuckle it through life <laughs> and to feel like, you know, if I can just get through this week, uh, everything's gonna be fine. If I can just get through this week, everything's gonna be fine. And then it's just like, it just becomes your life. If you want to like start on your own personal journey in terms of uh, mental health, I highly recommend, and she actually just came out with a new book and I can't wait to read it. Um, Renee Brown's Daring Greatly. I know I am a broken record about this book, but if you are new here and or you have not picked that book up and read it yet, pick the book up and read it, you guys. It is an absolute game changer, especially, I mean, it's for everybody, but as a woman dealing with perfectionism, which I think is all of us, <laughs> um, it is the most self-forgiving book I've ever read. It is just absolutely wonderful. And now she's got a new one called Dare to Lead, and I put it on my Christmas list. I need to read it, and I'm really excited about it. And then also, I keep talking about this in my vlogs, but if you don't watch my vlogs, then I totally don't blame you. The last one was an hour long. I am sorry, and you're welcome. The book, Becoming Supernatural. If you are ready to jump in with both feet to 
meditation, the ideas behind it, what your body is supposed to actually be doing, what your brain is supposed to be feeling, how it's supposed to feel when you succeed at meditation, just brace yourself. It's pretty woo woo. It's pretty metaphysical. It's pretty like esoteric. It's out there. I love it. It is my ish. I have found nothing but like positivity that's come from it and from adopting the habits that are presented in the book. And it does a really great job of presenting not just ways of starting and getting good at and, and focusing your energy when you're doing meditation instead of just like sitting there, but also integrating it into your everyday life. <laughs> because there's so many of us who, yeah, if we went on some kind of like meditation retreat or something, it's like, sure, we'd all become like enlightened, whatever. But then we get back to our regular everyday lives and we are just re-immersed in all of our stressors and we kind of don't know where to begin in recalibrating those like mental uh, pathways that we have like driven for so long that they're just muscle memory at this point. So. I highly encourage you guys, if you are serious about like learning more about meditation and getting into it, uh, to read that and um, understand that a lot of the fundamentals that I have found to work have come from that. So I'd probably be a little bit of review when I do finally do that video. But there are a lot of other kind of like books in my repertoire and stuff that I have really, really gotten a lot out of. If you guys have any, I did ask you, I think, uh, on my community tab recently for questions, but if you have additional questions, uh, I want to make sure I get everybody covered. If you have mental health questions, like I've heard a lot of people ask me like what, how to get out of a rut. Like that's a really good one. I want to kind of focus on that too. But yeah, ask me any specific questions down below so that I can make sure that I cover everybody in that video. And, uh, yeah, guys, that was the big faves, fails, finds, and opening all of my boxes video that I promised you guys. I feel very cleansed now. <laughs> I feel like we can uh, we can now like move forward. You guys, we're all on the same page. You guys know what I have in my possession currently. So if you guys enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. If it jogged your mind in any way about uh, a product that you want me to try, let me know down below. If you guys want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you guys did. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome to all of my new people. Happy Friday. I hope you guys had a lovely week and I hope you are looking forward to a beautiful weekend. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.